we have already discussed about the capacitance and different types of capacitors we observe in the market now we are classifying the capacitors first we are classifying the capacitors according to the dielectric material we use we already mentioned in the capacitor we are using a dielectric material this dielectric material is an insulator but we have different types of insulators plastic is an insulator wood is an insulator paper is an insulator ceramic is an insulator glass is an insulator we are using different types of insulator materials so based on what dielectric material you are choosing in the capacitor the capacitance value will be changed because each dielectric material is having its own permittivity epsilon the ability to store the electric field lines is called the permittivity so each material we are using here the paper has different ability to store the electric field lines air has different ability to store the electric field lines similarly the each dielectric material we are using here has its own way to store the electric field lines so based on the dielectric material we are using we define the capacitors a paper capacitor or air capacitor or plastic capacitor ceramic capacitor glass capacitor and similarly based on the operation we are classifying the capacitors into two types one is a fixed capacitor and second one is a variable capacitor fixed capacitor means that the capacitance value cannot be changed variable capacitor means the capacitance value can be changed where we use this application whenever we want to change some channel in the tv you may think that i am changing one channel from one channel to another channel simply the remote the button or the switch is changing the channel it will not change the channel you are actually in term changing the frequency to change that frequency you are changing the capacitance there you definitely require changing of the capacitance at that time you use the variable capacitor and in the variable capacitors we have different types of variable capacitors trimmer capacitors we will discuss in the later classes okay according to the voltage rating capacitors sometimes we use for low voltages in the laboratories you observe majority of our capacitors we use for the 25 volts they will give the voltage rating what is this voltage rating the maximum voltage a capacitor can withstand without destroying so the voltage rating defines up to what voltage the capacitor can store up to what voltage can the capacitor operate so based on that the according to the voltage rating capacitors are classified into two types low voltage capacitors we use for the low voltages in generally less than 50 volts high voltage capacitors we use for the voltages greater than 100 volts and according to the electrode structures capacitors actually we have two types of polar and non polar capacitors what is the difference between polar and non polar capacitors we, i have shown the symbol to you this is the parallel plate capacitors but we can also represent the capacitor like this also this is showing that this is a polar capacitor which is showing like we have battery positive and negative for this capacitor also we will represent the positive and negative if your capacitor is indicating positive and negative it is a polar capacitor if there is no positive and negative for the capacitor you can connect in any way in the circuit then it is a non polar capacitor in the laboratory we have two capacitors polar and non polar and uh, in, in generally the non polar capacitors are ceramic capacitors the ceramic capacitors comes in the form of a disk that you will observe and we have tubular capacitors they are polar capacitors for that short lead and long lead to represent to represent the positive and negative we use the different two leads terminal one lead is shorter and one lead is longer in that way we differentiate the two terminals and the next one is according to the shape we have tubular capacitors and a disk capacitor like in the tube light form if there is a capacitor that is called as a tubular capacitor if a capacitor is in the form of a circular form then that capacitor is called as a disk capacitor in generally ceramic capacitors are available in the form of the disk capacitor we use in the range of microfarads whereas microfarads and nanofarads Uh, nano farads and pico farads majority of the ceramic capacitors we use in the nano and pico farads for the micro farad range uh, most probably we will use the tubular capacitors okay according to the different dielectric material we have classified the capacitors 
paper, air, ceramic, glass, plastic. According to operation, they are classified into two types, fixed and variable. According to the voltage rating, low voltage capacitors and high voltage capacitors. We have al also discussed where we use the variable capacitors whenever we want to change the TV channel. Then you can use the variable capacitor. And also when you want to change your FM radio, if you are receiving a FM in the cities, you can observe there are more FM stations are available. They will send different different frequencies, 98.3, some different different frequencies they will send. If you want to tune by using your mobile, if you want to tune to particular FM, there you are changing the frequency. To change the frequency again, we cannot use the resistor to change the frequency. Definitely we require either inductor or capacitor. Changing inductance is very difficult and incorporating inductor in the mobile itself makes your mobile is larger and zinc. So we are changing the capacitance to receive a particular frequency of the FM station. There also we are using the variable capacitor. And similarly voltage rating we discussed. According to the voltage rating capacitors are classified into two types. Low voltage capacitor and high voltage capacitor. For lower voltages for our normal electronic projects we generally use the low voltage capacitor. And according to electrode structure capacitors are classified into two types. One is polar and non-polar. How can we differentiate sir whether it is polar and non-polar? If that capacitor can be connected in any way in the circuit, then that is a non-polar. If that capacitor terminals, one is we are using one terminal short and one terminal long. Means it, this capacitor is having the polarity positive and negative. That capacitor should be connected in a particular way only. To represent that type of capacitor, we use this circular, this circuit symbol. That type of capacitor is called as a polar capacitor. And last, we discussed the capacitors according to the shape. Now, capacitors are classified into two types. One is a tubular. If it is in the form of tubulite, then it is a tubular capacitor. Uh, uh, like a cylinder, if it is there, then it is called as a tubular capacitor. If it is in the form of the circular shape, then it is called as a disc capacitor.